All right, here we are. I've got teleportation now happening with a uh, distance over time type effect. It's kind of slow. Let's speed this up a bit. In the move system, there's teleport duration here. It's usually set at one second. I had to set it four seconds because I'm working on a little particle effect that's going to make it look a lot better. Um, but basically, this makes teleportation uh, a lot more clear where you're actually traveling to. And as a player, you might see a player fly over your head as they teleport across the level, um, which is kind of neat because you're like, whoa, that person just teleported, you know? So let's see this in slow motion here. Let's go down about 0.4. Basically, it's the move system moving you from teleport point to teleport point over a certain duration with the sine wave type pattern effect and also setting the, the player's heading and rotation and then you see at the very end of this this animation the player um reverses and sit and and starts walking backwards so that you can basically see where they're about to land so at first they're running forward and then they're kind of running backwards to stop and and like uh hit that that destination point and um, and of course the player is uh, tr semi-transparent too so the render system has something to do with it so let's look at some of the code oh excuse me the code that goes with it and of course oh also before we do that uh, there'll be some, I'm thinking of some like sparkly trails that fly off of the player kind of like in songbringer when you blink and we'll do that with the uh, the blink animation here as well so there'll be some kind of sparkly or like like speed trail type sparks of trail lines of uh, energy okay so move component needed some variables uh, there's te there's um, teleport source teleport destination teleport elapsed and teleport duration so the move system sets all that up when uh, when you call move system teleport Right, so teleport takes an entity and a, a source and a destination and a duration and applies all those to the entity and also moves the sky bot as well. And then in the um, in the move systems tick move entity, it basically um, basically this this function moves the entity around the the world. And there's a movement variable, which is a V3. So you got your X, Y, and Z movement. And then uh, whenever you have a teleport des destination, it, it first goes and applies all that movement, but then just clears it away and, and, you, and overrides it all with teleportation's movement. Um, and that just takes the teleport elapsed and turns that into an alpha. And then it does, uses a sine wave on the alpha and um, sets the entity's heading. And then if this is where the player turns around at the very end, it negates the heading. And then the rotation is based on the heading. And then the move, the position is based on the alpha times the destination minus the source. And then um, this used to be, this stuff right here, this entity has move stuff used to be inside move entity X, Y, move entity Z. Now that we have this movement cleared, we want to basically apply this kind of stuff. So it updates the basically the render grid and the collision system grid. So, and then also we've got this where it ends the teleport if the elapse has um, exceeded the duration. And it basically resets the player's mask, turns off all those teleport variables, and sets the new rotation one last time just to be sure. So, there you have it. Teleportation over time. I can't wait to make this um, some better graphics. Actually, let's turn on, turn on what I've got so far. You can see, um, let's see, move system. Turn this back to a real slow teleport duration. And then in NIMS, we'll turn off this right here. And we can see what I've got so far. This really looks really weird because I can't, I'm trying to figure out the right angles um, and, and effects to make it scale right. But that one kind of almost looks right. Oh, I finally see what's going on there. It's doing it for the Skybot as well. So let's turn it off for the player.
So, I mean, it's on only for the player. If it's the Skybot, then we don't do the speed trail. Thought it should clarify this effect immediately. There we go. For some reason, it's not doing the right Z height. But you can kind of get the point, right? If there were all these little trailing effects, animations going on, but they would be they're like spread out over the height of the character. Right now, they're all they're all at one one Z level, so they're just it looks like one continuous line. But once that gets uh, fixed up, it'll look nice. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you next time.